Oh, hello there, everybody. Looney Farm Guy with another new mod test for Thursday, March 31st, and it's the Iseki TJV95 by FV Gato. 11.33 megabytes and a whopping 19 <laughs> slots on console. Ah, small package, big price. Um, so, uh, it's our first uh, Iseki uh mod uh we have one base game a little tiny guy this one's a little bit bigger uh we're gonna find him under small tractors and for me it's pretty much right at the end there it is it's like etjv985 95 horsepower on automatic although it doesn't doesn't drive like an automatic it's kind of odd um 120 liters and uh, 24 miles per hour. Let's have a look at it. So we have some options. Um, Trailerberg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Vertistine, Nokian, Trailerberg, back to Trailerberg. And we have a few. This one's the only one that has that little rear narrow twin option. And, uh, and... Narrows. Uh, in Michelin, uh, it has the twin, the rear twins. Now they all and narrows too. Yeah, okay. Continental. They they all. Uh, it looks like they all have narrows, and they have this uh, wide dual back rear dual option. Um, yeah, except for. No narrows in Midas. There's the narrows there in Vertistine. No kin is just communal. And back to Trailerborg. Right. So, front weight, yes or no? Basically, that's it. Front loader attacher, yes, it has a quickie or hower. And that's it. A main color is everything or anything. Anything and everything. There we go. Ooh, that looks kind of nifty. And rim color is just a black, white, or gray. So some color options, which is nice. And that's it for uh, options in here. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, beacons, lights, uh, your windows and oh, a window and a door. So. I guess it's automatic. It shifts, though. It's so. I guess I don't have the shifter. I don't think I don't know anyone who uses the shifter uh, for manual shifting. But anyways, that's that. So nothing in L1. Just toggle map R1 honk. Mm. And but here's the L1 R1. So this is where your right stick, right and left, open that door. And up and right stick up and down, up, down, <laughs> kind of opposite. It's uh, but anyways, it opens and closes that back door, and that's it for options, which is nice. Uh, out in the field, here we go. We have a uh, so it's 95 horsepower, you can't change the horsepower. That's it, it is what it is. This is a 90 horsepower rated cultivator base game. And really no problem uh, getting up to speed on that. Uh, he works it very well, and he likes it. No problem with a worker. Nothing weird happens. He doesn't stop or go for a little walkabout or anything. I have this uh, subsoiler on this one with duels on the back. It's 120 horsepower required. And you can kind of tell it it goes, but it doesn't go up to all speed. And uh, he struggles up wheel spin a little bit and everything. So, not bad though. I mean, it is a little 95 horsepower. And the subsoilers at, at 120, they're pretty tough to pull. So, um, yeah. But even even at that, he didn't really... He just kept plugging away, um, so can't really say anything bad about, uh, yeah, 
I mean, aside from the slot count being really high for something that you, you, it's not a whole lot of, actually, for, for that many slots, it's not a whole lot of options. Usually you see slot count like that on things that have a, a bazillion different options to it. So I'm not sure why the slot's so high. The, the megabyte's not that high, 11. But anyways, that's my assessment of this little fella, the Asiki, if you like them. There it is. Uh, the Asiki TJV95 by FV Gato, 11.33 megabytes. I'm Lonely Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. So, till next time, bye for now.